I'm gonna go ahead and present this. Hmm, maybe if I show her this letter I got from Edgeworth. Um, it's old bag. If you would look at... What? You want me to look at this worthless piece of... Edgy poo. Uh, is that her perfume? Pheromone de Amour, I smell? Shudder. Let's see here. Would you please allow this unsophisticated young person to conduct his investigation? Yours truly, Miles Edgeworth. Yours truly. Mm, that man's good at flattery. Fine, but only because Edgy Poo said so, you understand? <laughs> I just thought of something I have to do. Remember, no messing around. You do anything bad and I won't let you off the hook. Oh, well... It looks like she has strong feelings for Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> Don't look like that. That may be, but you know nothing's gonna come of it. That's so mean, Mr. Nick! Feelings are meant to be told and shared. <laughs> They're not. Ah! Every time we talk about love, I always end up with a handprint on my face somehow. <laughs> um, so anyway, let's continue our investigation. Okay! Wait, what? Come on. Ah, what now? One little thing before I forget. You can't go into Angad's room today. Why? The police's main investigation team is going to be the in there all day, you hear? I wonder if they're the team in charge of investigating the killer. So don't go in there. Set one foot in there and you'll face the wrath of Wendy Oldbag. Alright. So... It's the stage they were going to use for the post ceremony stage show. After the show there was supposed to be a press conference, but... But that press conference... It was really the victim, Juan Caruda, trying to disclose something about Mr. On Guard. But they're both heroes. Why would they do something so unheroic? Oh, pearls. You see, the reality is... There are no heroes. <laughs> Everyone's human. And also, some people are murderers. <laughs> <laughs> they may look like heroes on the outside, but on the inside, they're only human. Okay, Phoenix Phoenix did it for me. Well, oh, we just crushed a little girl's dream. Good job, Phoenix. I mean, I was joking, but Phoenix did it for real. Absolutely destroyed her dreams! Uh, Viola Hall. March 22, Gatewater Hotel, Viola Hall. Looks like we're the only ones here. And yet, the hotel seems so busy somehow. Probably because the police team is scouring for clues about the killer. So if we're, only, if we're the only ones here, can we eat this stuff? I want to eat a meal with Mystic Meyer again. Yeah, me too. Whenever I watch Mystic Meyer eat like she does, it makes me happy about eating and then I can eat a lot. <laughs> well then. How about after we wrap up this case, we all go out for a, a huge 20 course feast? Okay, let's work really hard then. I don't know if a 20 course feast is a good idea. March 22, Gatewater Hotel Hallway. Hey City Boy, why are you here? I thought this place was off limits. Lotta, you're still here. Wrecking cause! An investigative photographer eats or starves on her ability to snap up the scoop, yeah? And this hotel just has that aura of mystery. <laughs> you know, like something's always about to happen. But, do you have a camera? Wreck given! A photographer's gotta have cameras out the ear like horn to be real pro, you know. What? So I'm hanging around here. Speaking of cameras and feeding the mouth, do you have mine, you bread thief? Why can't you drop that thief thing already? <laughs> Does she... Do we have her camera? I do, we have, I do have her camera. Um, would you please take a look at this? No, okay, that's not... I thought we found her camera. Didn't Old Bag give us the camera in court? I swear we have a camera. I want to ask you about the night of the murder. 
what? You're really gonna shell out for the bucks for the info I got? Lotta, you were loitering in this hallway the night of the murder, were you not? Well, kinda, but... Brace yourself, Phoenix! Here it comes! I didn't exactly hang around here the entire time, you know. Followed a few stars around. Got a few autographs, shook a few hands, and uh, sold a part with a few of them too. Looks like she wasn't here the entire time that night. The security lady also wasn't in this hallway the whole time either. I guess this means there's no one who can tell us who came and went that night. So, about the note that was inside your camera case. Oh, that Diddy I wrote? Yeah, can I believe what you've written? You mean the stuff about Angad shoving his manager lady onto Karida? Yeah. Ah, well, I reckon you best not be believing that. <laughs> what? Look, I sort of wrote that on a whim, you know. Writing whatever came to mind. Whatever came to mind? Yeah, when you get down to it, it's just a lot of random boo doodles. <laughs> Hey, what's with you? Why are you staring at me like my grandpa used to? <laughs> hmm. Hey, and why do you look like you suddenly got older too? Or am I just shrinking here? Hmm. Ah, my baby! My $1,600 baby! What's with that red-coated prosecutor anyhow? The guy told me it was evidence and refused to give it back to me. <laughs> well, that's kind of how it is. Hey, hey, you're that red coat friend, ain't ya? So put in a few word good words for me and get my, get me back my camera. You want me to do what? Listen, nag the guy real good about five hours, and I guarantee he'll give it back. Why don't you do your own dirty work? Well, I reckon it's time for me to get going. A tabloid photographer without a camera is just a tabloid, huh? <laughs> um, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Keep yourself together out there, you hear? I'm coming to see you in court tomorrow. Wait, what? Okay, I'll see you then. And you too there, little, little one. Keep up the good work, okay? Okay! Don't be picky about your food now. Okay! And make sure you do all your homework, you hear? Okay! And if you happen to find yourself a camera, make sure you bring it right to me. <laughs> Would you please just leave already? <laughs> Why is she here? Also, are we supposed to get her her camera? This bears... Alright, let me, like, move. I'm pretty sure there's only... We should search the bears. March 22, Gatewater Hotel, Kuruda's Hotel Room. Ong, 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 ong. Mr. Nick! What is that otherworldly ghastly moaning? Ong, ooh, oomph, guff. I hate evil ghosts! Wow! I don't think it's a ghost. Maybe it's a demon. Excuse me? What's who you're calling a demon, brat? <laughs> ah! Swanks! It's the alien! Who are you calling an alien? Oh, it's just you, Miss Bag. What are you doing here? What is wrong with you young'uns today? I come, came down here to pay my respects to poor, my poor Juan and you're disturbing me. Why are you here? And what is that? There's a phone there. No, there's a phone there. Looks like Mr. Corrida had dinner that night. This bottle is tomato juice. We had a lot of food at the awards show that night. But I wonder if the stars had gone on stage after only eating a meager meal like this. It's a beautiful wine glass, and there's tomato juice in it. Ew, tomato juice. I don't really like it much. There's a bottle of it on the table over there, that's probably where this came from. Bottles of cosmetics are scattered all over the floor. This is probably where Mr. Corridor fought his assailant. These glass shards. They're probably from the glass vase Miss Andrews knocked over. So that's a bed. Alright, it's a big bed. Uh, 
A suitcase, so many things, I bet it closes. Close. So messy. It's a watch. A lot of bears. So there's nothing new here. Alright, talking to you. Night of the murder. Please talk to me about the night of the murder, just one more time. <laughs> I talked about it plenty at the trial. I was fooled, tricked, deceived by the fraud of a photographer and her note. She was loitering around here with that imbecilic look on her face. With that imbecilic look on her face. Okay, got it. <laughs> now hold on a second. There, you little pipsqueak. If you're going to take notes, at least make me sound better than that. Oh, alright. Now I've seen everything. But you know I was working that night too, doing my job, minding my own business. So it's not like I had time to waste standing around here the whole night. I was wondering if you could tell me a bit more about Mr. Corrida. He was the most popular star, you know, especially where it counts in my book. But I heard that he was lagging behind in the polls against Mr. On Guard. Um, well, that's just a recent thing, bad luck and all that, you know. But he was going to become an even bigger star than he used to be. Look, just look at this mountain of presents. <laughs> Where'd they come from? Why is there, like, literally a giant stuffed bear back there? <laughs> it's a show of the mountain of feelings all his fans had for him. Yeah, the mountain is pretty big and suddenly some nothing to do shake a stick at. Mr. Nick? What is it, Pearls? The presents, they're all bears, right? She's got a point. There isn't a single thing here that isn't a bear. <laughs> they're all from OPEC. <laughs> all of Mr. Corrida's presents seem from his fans seem to be bears. <laughs> Oh, that's because you can't think of one without thinking about bears. What? Bears? Why bears? You don't know? When my dear Juan was training, he fought bare-handed with the bear. He refused to give in and let the bear win, but after the fight they became friends. <laughs> what? What? Wow, what a heartwarming story. Wait, what? Look, it's just like in those young people's dreams. I can see those two tuck it out. Down by a river going, here, you, you sure can fight. You too, bub. You too. <laughs> Did all that really happen? It's in his biography, bub. What a load of crock. <laughs> so ever since then, fans have been giving him bears at pre as presents. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. Yeah, nice bears. I'm Uncle Bear, and I say it's barely 8 o'clock. What is that infernal racket? It's one of the presents going off. Sounds like it's already 8 p.m., way past your bedtime. Ugh, that startled me. I thought I was going to die for a second. 8 p.m. That's the time when the award ceremony ended that night, remember? Time sure flies. Hard to believe it's been two days since the ceremony. The transceiver! Beep. Hello! This is not a phone. Maya, how is Maya? You haven't heard her, have you? It seems you were not able to fulfill your end of the bargain, Mr. Attorney. I have heard the news, so it would seem my present did you no good. Yeah, no, it didn't do no good. No! Mr. Maya! One more day! Please, all I ask is for one more day. I'll get a not guilty verdict for sure this time, please. I suppose if I must. I need that acquittal more than anything else, after all. Please! Please let Maya say something. I want to hear she's alright. Alright. Then... A little... 
What is with this static all of a sudden? Hello? Hello? It seems... Bad. Connect. Damn it! Did the transceiver just suddenly break? Excuse me. Beep. <laughs> what happened? Uh, I believe the cat knocked over the... the antenna. <laughs> I think the cat knocked over the antenna, is what happened. <laughs> I don't know, all of a sudden it became nothing but static. Ah! Misty fire! Why did the transceiver suddenly break like that? I should probably have an electronics... an electronics expert look at it. The sooner the better! Um... This bear made a sound. Anyway, are we showing her anything? Oh, maybe I should show her... Have you ever seen this before? Alright, she doesn't want to say anything about that. Have you seen this before? No. Alright, so... I, the game probably wants me to bump into someone. Oh, I need to like, find her camera. Nope. No, okay. March 22, Wright and Co. Law Offices. Hey, welcome back, pal. I thought I'd make you a little something for dinner. <laughs> Thanks. That's nice. Thanks. A rich man's luxurious full-course meal out of a can, that is. <laughs> I'm sorry you went through all the trouble to cook, but I don't have the time to eat. Oops. Looks like you don't have a can opener, pal. <laughs> it's still in the can? You've got to be kidding. And here I thought he had already whipped something up. <laughs> oh, I know. There's one way I know how to be helpful. Ask me about anything you want, pal. Go ahead. Well, since he's here and offering, I wonder what I should try asking him about. Transceiver? The transceiver? Oh, Mr. Nick! You shouldn't ask Mr. Scruffy Detective about that thing. What? What thing? Oh yeah, this thing just up and broke all of a sudden. It... it broke, pal? When I was talking to the kidnapper, it just suddenly broke into static. Look, it sounded like this. I don't hear any static, pal. Huh? Maybe it fixed itself. That's strange. I'm sure it was making a loud static noise. Mm, maybe. Maybe what? Maybe it was electromagnetic interference, pal. Electromagnetic interference? Yeah, what the hell is that? Um, so what is electromagnetic interference? It's something that happens when a radio wave gets mixed up with it with another signal, pal. Oh, when you put it that way. I don't understand what you're talking about. Like for example, when a cell phone goes off next to a computer screen, the stuff on the screen gets kind of fuzzy and starts acting funny, right? Huh? Computer? Well, not anymore because we use LCD screens. Um, it's like when you use the dryer next to the TV and the screen starts looking weird. Oh, yes. The TV does do that. Mm. Oh, so that's what you're talking about. She seems amazingly happy at being able to understand this. <laughs> Why is she so happy? So the room you were in when that interference to the transceiver happened. There's gotta be something there that's sending out very strong radio waves, pal. Something like... Mm, like a listening device or something. Ah! Hey, speaking of that, where were you when it happened? We were in Mr. Corridor's room. The scene of the murder! Nani! That's it! I'm going to sneak into the precinct and get a bug sweeper. 
I'll meet you at the crime scene later, alright pal? Ah, uh, wait, Gumshoe! Oh yeah, baby! It's investigating time! <laughs> I'm on fire, pal! My fingers are itching to go! Please, please put the fire out. <laughs> we should be going to Nick. Alright, let's go! Alright, let's go, I guess. Move. We're just walking from one end of the game to the other, over and over again. March 22, Gatewater Hotel, Corita's Hotel Room. Hey! You're finally here, pal! Sorry to keep you waiting, we, we literally came straight here. Do you have the, um, Bug Sweeper? Um, well, you see, I got busted trying to sneak it in, pal. Then suddenly, I'm standing, I'm staring at the precinct doors. From the outside, I mean. So yeah, I couldn't get one from, of the police bug sweepers. What do you mean you couldn't get one? We need that item! Hey, hey, calm down, pal. Didn't say I didn't get one, just not the police's. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow, so this is a bug sweeper. It looks a little broken. Hey, this was made when I was in elementary school, pal. <laughs> you made your own? Oh, by who? Me, of course. Ah, seeing this sure brings back memories. Hey, don't look down on it, pal. Sure, it looks a little beat up. But I put my heart and soul into building this puppy here. Your heart and soul? Your work. Trust me, pal. It'll do the job. But... But? But you can't set the sensitivity, so it's going to beep at anything that gives up electromagnetic waves. But isn't it better that way? Oh ho 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 ho! Well, anyway, since I brought it all in all this way, might as well give it a whirl, right, pal? I'm getting that sinking feeling again. Okay, now I'll tell you how to use this baby. There's a listening device or some sort of bug hidden in this room, pal. So we're gonna find it, right? Right, now first let's turn the sweeper on. Next, move the sweeper around to to give the room a real thorough looky see, pal. The sweeper will let you know how strong the signal is picking up, so keep an eye on it, okay? Once you find something that's giving off a lot of radio waves, press ENTER to lock onto it. There's a lot of things here that's going to give off radio waves, so let's take a good look at anything and everything that seems suspicious, okay, pal? Alright, I'm going to stand outside and keep an eye out. Give me a yell if you find the bug, got it, pal? Okay. I mean, there's a robot. Ah, what a lovely bear! <laughs> ah! Ah, this must be one of those fancy bear-shaped toy robots. It's a robot! It's a real robot? Yeah, it's a real one. Mr. Nick! Yes? How many horsepowers is it? How many horsies? <laughs> what are you talking about? Horsies? Um, well, look, it's a bear, so, uh... Um... <laughs> what? Well, the phone is the most common place for a listening device, I'd say. But let's take the receiver apart first before we get ahead of ourselves here. Wow, you know a lot about electronics, don't you, Mr. Nick? Yeah, no tons, especially when it comes to taking them apart. It's my specialty. <laughs> I'll leave the fixing part up to Gumshoe. So, is there a listening device in there? No, and I really thought it had to be in the phone too. It's in one of the bears. The radio is on and playing something. Well, turn it off, Jesus. Oh, it's, qu it's Kid's Question Corner. Professor, Professor, why is the Earth round? Yes, why is it, Mr. Nick? <laughs> why don't you listen to the radio program a little more, Pearls? <laughs> I don't really think the listening device is in the TV of all places. Looks like the TV was left on and is now showing an old samurai movie. Yeah, this channel plays all sorts of international movies, as well as domestic ones. You know, every time I watch one of those old movies, I always think, Wow, these Japanese stars are really good at English. 
um, yeah. <laughs> when I grow up, I want to study Japanese. <laughs> I should probably keep my mouth shut here and not destroy her dream. <laughs> okay, look, let me just be serious about it. I know I'm clicking on everything. We want to, like... I mean, there's the phone. It's probably... meant to be one of the bears. There. This is... this is just a giant stuffed teddy bear, right? It's the biggest one I've ever seen. Hey, so did you guys find it yet? The listening device, I mean? No, not yet, but this bear's eye is... Let's see, let's see... A perfectly normal stuffed bear with some really strong radio waves. Sounds like you found the device to me, pal. Let's dig this big fella's eye out and see what we've got. No, you can't! Such... such a violent act. <laughs> Ooh. No! That's... It's a miniature camera, and it looks like there's more. There's a transmitter and a timer. A water water transmitter? A transmitter, pal. Oh, is this more of that high-tech stuff? Cool. So this tiny thing is a camera. Yep, it's a pinhole CCD camera, pal. It's a small, high-grade video camera, mostly used in security systems. So it's a video camera. It runs on a battery, which comes with it in a set. But there's no videotape in this camera. This is only at the camera part here, pal. The tape recorder with the tape inside is somewhere else. Somewhere else! The footage is changed into radio waves, and then it's sent to that recorder. So, it's sort of like a TV broadcast, isn't it? Hey, you know, you're right. Spy camera added to the court record. Said to record the victim's room from 8pm for one hour was running at the time of murder. The murderer tapes himself? Why would the murderer incriminate himself? So what is a transmitter? It's a device that sends the footage the camera took to a specific destination. It's like a video version of a listening device, pal. It looks like it's attached to a small clock-like thing. Oh, that's, that's a timer, pal. You can set it to turn the camera on and record at a certain time with it. You can set it for a certain time? Yep, let's see. This looks like it was set to start at 8pm and go for one hour. 8pm? That was the time the award ceremony ended. But it records every day at 8pm because it went on... ...while we were here. There's no date set, so it's been recording every night, I guess. Mr. Detective, how long has this bear been here? Um, I'm pretty sure it's been here since the night of the murder. Then, then maybe, maybe this camera caught the murder on tape. Nani. And if you think about the angle the bear is at, it's bound to have had a clear shot of the whole crime, prowl. Transmitter added to the court record. So he, there was a camera in this bear's eye, and it was disguised as a present. And I'm sure it was here on the night of the murder, pal. No, but the, the the guy would have... Whoever put the camera in the bear would have had to... Also bring the bear into the room. Because you have to set the bear up at an angle that allows it to see the, the crime scene. It's looking at the crime scene. Like, if you put the bear in a different position, it wouldn't see anything. So the person who put the bear here... Is, is is also in on it. It's pretty big so it stands up well stands up pretty well in my mind. 
but who gave Mr. Coretta this present? I uh, don't know, pal. But this means that someone out there has got video of what happened here that night. Isn't there any way we can find out who that person is? It's impossible, pal. Radio waves can be sent almost anywhere, so there's no real way to find out. Oh, sniff. Is there really no way to find out? Stuffed bear added to the court record. The spy camera was set in its right eye found in the victim's room. I got it! Nani! Hey pal, let me borrow this mini camera for a bit. What are you gonna do? I'm going I'm going to go around to the electronic shops and see if I can find out who bought this. But that's impossible, I mean it's already 9 p.m. Leave it to me, even if I have to search all night, I'll find your man, pal. Alright, I'm gonna give it to him apparently. Oh yeah, baby! It's investigating time! <laughs> I'm on fire, pal! My fingers are itching to go! Yeet! He's gone. Yeah. But Mr. Scruffy Detective sure is a nice man. <laughs> He's pushing himself so hard, all for Mystic Maya's sake. It's a mystery how you man always manage to do things in the most inefficient ways, right? Ack! You have to excuse me, I heard your conversation just now. Hey, Edgeworth. <laughs> yes, Edgeworth, the most inefficient ways. Edgeworth! What are you doing here? A rescue team has been created and deployed! I can't say I'm optimistic, but we have to move forward one step at a time. I see, thanks. Don't thank me yet, we still have to find her. Mmm, so there was a spy camera hidden inside this stuffed animal, huh? You're one lucky man, right? <laughs> no, Edgeworth. It's a skill. <laughs> Do you know this stuffed bear, little girl? Um, I have no idea. Hmm, of course not. The maker of this bear is a very expensive luxury brand, brand from overseas. It's completely handmade, and only a small number of these are exported here. Nani? The camera and transmitter that Scattered Brain Detective took with him are dead ends. Things like those can be brought anywhere. However, this bear is different. By tracking how it got into this country, this bear can tell us who the buyer is. Can you really do that, Mr. Nick? Can he really? Well, I guess so. It's 9 p.m. I think I can still make it in time. I'll be taking this for now. <laughs> you took the whole pair. <laughs> I'm sure you have other things you have to do. Not really. Stuffed bear snatched up by Edgeworth. See you soon, right? Wait. What? Why are you doing this? <laughs> I have no interest in explaining myself to someone who cannot comprehend. But besides that, Mr. But besides that, right? Until court reconvenes tomorrow, you should concern yourself with this question. Who was the person that murdered Juan Corrida? The real killer. Do you really still think it was Adrian Andrews? To be honest, I don't know anymore. You still have a little time left. Find the truth, right? Everything begins with the truth. Juan Corrida's real killer. Miss Andrews passed. The kidnapper whose whose sole condition is an acquittal for Mr. On Guard. Look, On Guard hired the killer to kill Juan, but if On Guard is in prison, he can't pay the killer for his job. <laughs> so the, the so so the killer needs needs On Guard to be acquitted, so then On Guard can pay him for killing Juan. <laughs> <laughs> and this card, Shelly the Killer. Maya, the only way I can save you now is to find all the answers to this case tonight. I don't understand what your real intentions are, Edgeworth. But as you said, all I can do now for now is to find the truth. All right, let's take a take a break here. <laughs> the killer needs to be paid. 